Let's see. But Uvalthin is leveled up. Is now a Bloodhorn Warrior. Let's see. Right, we have a choice between Heroism, Shield, Shear, Hardiness, or we can upgrade the Thundering Challenge, which was actually might actually be really good because it looks like it affects multiple enemies in a small area. Hmm. Let's see. Once per combat, Uvalthin gains plus one action point, and attack actions only cost one action point this turn. Okay, so we could essentially attack twice if we if we set him up correctly. If we set him up correctly. Uh, once every other turn, as a swift action, Uvalthin shreds two of a force foe's armor with his weapon. Uvalthin has plus thirty percent health. Uh, that's, that might be a really useful thing to actually add to him, because I think he lost some health. Oh, that's terrible choice, because I would love three of these, actually. Her heroism sounds awesome. Upgrading Thundering Challenge would be really cool, because it's, um, because it's been a really useful skill so far, but hardiness so that he can survive, I think, especially given our recent loss of Tonk. Oh, man. I think we're gonna go for hardiness. Tonk fell in battle at Fog Woods. What a waste. What is best? Hmm. Well, I think Tonk deserves a tomb. We shall construct a tomb to commemorate their story. Tonk will be added to the legacy. So we have to... Oh, we gain LP... Uh, after building the tomb. So I'm trying to think if there's a downside to this. So it looks like we gain LP either way. We either gain it now or we gain it later. So I feel like we should just A, gain it now, and B, also not let Tonk be forgotten. Because it seems like awful if we would if we would do the other option. Tonk deserves to be remembered. That they do. Oh, I see. We have to um, we have to build it in order for it to to work. I see that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, this is a problem though. It feels like these. Let's just put Nox on it. No. Yes. Let's just put Nox on it, and then let's have everybody else uh, gather in Greenwich, in Greenwist, because I'm not sure... Okay, good. Phew. Incursion exhausted on defenses. Thank goodness. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's go and build more defenses with these guys. Might as well choose Tier 3 defenses, because it's been something that's really been helping us. Honestly, the, the sad part is Tonk died so that the defenses didn't get broken. But we could have just let the defenses get broken and rebuild them. Hey, Greenwist has a new recruit. Here, why don't we send Uvalthine to recruit there, and Nico will continue on here. Hi, Igis! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> but Igus is a terrible name. <laughs> Alright. I think it's time to add another from our lineup. Uh, from our comments online. Let's go ahead and... Let's see. Randomizer. Let's do it. Let's hit the randomizer another time here. Reroll. Oh, that's awesome. Let's do this. And you will be... Eric, Shadowblade. Thank you, Eric, for supplying the character. And looks like we're probably going to do uh, like your name suggests and make you a, a sword... A, a swordsmith? Sword player? I think that looks pretty good. How do I feel like? Maybe we should make your, uh, your hair color a little darker. 
That's a better, that's a better look for you. All right, love the goatee, love the goatee. All right, so you've got, already got warding and other things like that, dodge and block. Because you're curious, a dreamer and nostalgic. Broad skies always intimidated boyish Eric. So boundless and vacant and vast, yet they instilled wonder in him too. What that would one day help him explore. A silvery dragon occasionally appeared in his dreams. It made ominous faces and blew smoke out of its ears, spoke strange phrases with no obvious significance. In a cloud he once saw a future full of rose light and gold fields surrounding a family home. He strove ever to solidify this vision. All right, let's recruit you. Are we really looking for fighters, or did you just want an excuse to hit the tavern? Come on. We may find someone who will save your life one day. Or mine. Plus, I would like someone else to talk to while you and Nox are making up new verses, new verses to old Bella's hatchet. The stars were beginning to come out by the time they got back into Green Whist proper. Good thing we got in when we did. Looks like most people are still out and about. Maybe we can knock out this errand sooner rather than later. <laughs> Wait! You're back? Already? You wiped them out that quickly, or... You didn't give up, did you? Not yet, anyway. Good. That would have been distressing news. Actually, we're back because we're looking to expand the company. What about you? You look... honorable. And you could probably fight with that thing in a pinch, right? Probably. A rocky question with a potential gem of an answer. And there's not a lot of ease... Uh, not There's not a lot else keeping me here right now. It's the season when a young man has to figure out what to make of his life. And this season has brought a lot of changes. Can't argue with you there. It would be good to have the help. We've er learned a bit out in the wild so far. We can have someone get you up to speed. Let's train Eric as a warrior. Oh look, it gets buffer if you do that. That's so funny. I think our next one's definitely gonna be a mystic. Uh, so we'll go for the warrior. I think we're having you train whoop, the warrior, which makes sense. All right. Tomb dedicated in memory of talk. Now we have seven legacy points, which is the best. Um, I'd say let's have Nox come back. No, let's have Nox take a moment to finish up the defenses here. Yeah. Because we have another incursion coming, and so far these three level defenses have been lifesavers. Oh god. They advance their plans over time. Who do we not want to deal with? I have no idea what any of these other guys do. This thing looks terrible, so let's get rid of that. And... I don't know, do we do... Let's, let's mim minimize the, the, the Gorgon threat. Because they're already super strong. They've got a lot going for them here. Hmm... Let's see, so you should be... You're fortifying, you're training, good. Eric Shadowblade is now a Greenhorn Warrior. Let's see. Okay, Blood Rage, Shield Shear, or Vigilance? Ooh. Two reaction strikes per turn, that's good. Or infuriated by wounds, Eric deals plus one damage for every two health he's missing. Ooh, that's a risky way of playing, but it could be very beneficial. Or, as a swift action, Eric shreds two of the foe's armor with his weapon. I think we're going to go for the armor one. I think that seems like the best plan. Um, can we go? We can go from here to there. It's locked, though, I'm, uh, so I'm going to guess that we can't do that just yet. Honestly, what we might try to do... Let's take a moment to boost the defenses here to a level 2. 
and then when Nico is done, he can join us and we can come over here to Agarula, Agarula Fields. All right. Good. Tier 2 defense is built. Um, yeah, I think we actually might just move forward with this. Let's gather on here. He's almost done. I did the fog woods. Um, I think the best thing we could do is just move forward. Scout it out. Let's get Tonk in or sorry, not Tonk. Oh. Let's get Nox in here. Alright. Gleaming weird and golden, a formation of stone catches Nox's eye. You feel that too? I swear it's watching us. You never know what you'll find until you look. Upon the hill's summit, nothing's waiting for them. Well, there's a big rock and a couple of wind-worsted old pines. Then it begins, a thrumming. It grows louder and louder until the stone underfoot clatters and shakes. It grows louder until it's a mighty growl, clamorous, thundering. And then it resolves. I am the one. The voice of a carnivore. Cunning and crooning, warning them to run, promising to give chase. The one you have hunted so long. Through years. Through, through <coughs> sorry. Through tears and riddles. You have hunted so long for me, and for a sisterhood that should be yours. Do you know my name? A name? It was the gift I gave to your ancestors. They walked my myth over green field and fallow, to the curves and corners of being they walked. Do you know my name? How? How would I? A blessing earned through ancient service, an oath written in steps and trails and sealed with a name. You need only know it. I'll ask you once more. Do you know my name? Lokius! It's like reading a fairy tale from your childhood, only to realize how disturbing it is. Nox doesn't like knowing the name, but she's sure it's right. Yes, I am Lokius, your wolf god. And now you may take my oath, abandon your humanity, my girl, and be blessed as wolfkind. <laughs> what? <laughs> is this the thing in the woods and the thing she knew that she did and she took the, the sparkly thing and now she could be a freaking werewolf? What? Oh gosh, I, I have to do this. Nox has to, has to go through this. This is too cool. It feels like coming home. Nox kneels and begin and beneath her a green light pools. Dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse, wind-scraped dirt. They grow old and white, throw their seeds, then wilt to nothing. The god rock she kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside. A shrill, sundering howl reverberates in her skull. Feels like a thousand megalithic wasps are whining, trapped in this bone jar teetering on her shaky shoulders. Nox? <laughs> Why is her head so big? Her head is so big. So she's she's gained some to her retirement age. She can she can go longer. What happened to Knox? Knox is a wolf now. Uh, what? Okay. So you've got a wolf head now. Blessings of Lokius allows Nox to smell the wind and taste prey. 
So you have another action, wolf bite, knocks barely, or knocks bites a nearby foe with her wolf jaws. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I just can't even with the, it looks, it looks better here, but in that, in that particular scene, the wolf's head was so swollen on her tiny body. But it's still, it's still so much bigger than the rest of her body. It would look better on someone like an oval, oval theme, right? But, oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. Let's see here. Current defense is tier 2. Um, let's... I think we're just building the station here. So I think I'm going to send Nico... No, Nico's already there. Let's send Eric back to do this job. Because I didn't realize we took... Uh, knocks away from defense making. So let's send him back and then let's have Wolfhead and <laughs> Uvalthine work here. So we've got, oh, this is different than just uh, building up a fortitudes. You don't like to be stuck out here in the open, but we should help as we can. Waterbog's tailoring, tailoring families have selected this spot for an outfitter or a weaver works or even a well-removed tannery. Any of these would help the provincials re pr prosper. So, by building a station, it su supplies resources at the end of each chapter. Spending resources to upgrade hero... Spending resources upgrades hero weapons and armor. Oh, we can... we can Sorry, we can take the resources and upgrade things. Which we should probably get to, considering otherwise we're going to die. Um, let's see, an outfitter provides hide and fabric... Which do we need more? Weaver works? Or tannery? Let's, uh, can we pull back for a second here? If I click here and go to craft. Let's see, what do we need for things? Um, I'd rather look at... I mean, Nico's got a good weapon. Nox needs a better bow. In order to craft the item, we need LP, but we need ingots and heartwoods oh I see we could trade the legacy points for each missing resource so we don't really want to do that if we can help it so something that would gain us ingots but I don't think that was one of the options how's the crossbow looks hides and fabrics so building a crossbow might be more doable um, let's think on that so let's go back here Weaver works, a tannery. So an outfitter would provide hides and fabric. Let's choose the middle line so that we kind of go with um, something that will get us both things moving forward. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to pause there. God, a lot happened and <laughs> just not over yet that Nox is a wolf being now. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this series and want to know when all the next videos are coming out or want to watch any other content I'm making, please subscribe to my channel. That way you get notifications of the videos as they're coming out. But as always, folks, I will see you in the next game.